most venerable venerables and your excellencies, uh, dear brothers and sisters in Dharma. Um, I'm very uh, honored to be standing here in front of you today. Although um, I'm not here as an expert to talk about the Visak day or mindfulness, um, but I'm here to share some of my uh, own work experience and to uh, feeling very grateful for being born in a, a country led by enlightened kings and our leaders where Buddha Dharma is um, very much vibrantly alive. And uh, also, um, I'm feeling grateful for my own personal journey for being able to work with the female Sangha monastics in Bhutan, um, to be associated with the female monastic uh, body in Bhutan. And I wanted to um, uh, share with some of the aspirations that I have and the convictions I have being, being um, working with the female Sangha in Bhutan. And the Bhutan Nuns Foundation, it is called, the uh, foundation that I work for. Uh, it was founded in a, uh, within a decade ago under the patronage of Her Majesty, the Queen Mother of Bhutan. And uh, simply, of course, the, I thought when uh, um, Venerable um, Dama Haso and uh, his crew, I'm very much grateful for uh, their um, hard work for being able, uh, for me to be able to be here with you all today. Um, when they asked me uh, last minute to say something, I was not sure what I would be able to say, but at the same time, then I thought um, it will not be balanced if I don't talk something about bikinis and the female sanghas in this very uh, auspicious day, because um, I have heard so many uh, venerables, uh, our male um, sanghas, um, talking about the Buddha Dharma and uh, how to be mindful. But at the same time, I wish I had um, heard one or two of our bikini um, sisters in this uh, very auspicious event. But I haven't seen, but being me, um, I hope it will be OK to represent them and talk a little bit about, um, about uh, the um, female sangha. And, uh, and then I thought, you know, um, it is appropriate to have the aspiration and talk about the bikuni revival of the bikuni ordination when, when I have this opportunity. Because, um, you know, uh, the uh, Buddha uh, started with, uh, with his uh, aunt, Prajapati Gautami and uh, Yashodra, um, uh, followed by um, hundreds of women um, uh, ordained as a bikuni, in, um, uh, especially in Vaishali. And I thought, um, in 2000, why I thought this uh, topic to, uh, is very appropriate to bring this topic is that to have the aspiration and all, at least to create a, create a sense of uh, harmony uh, that it's important even to uh, just mention it, you know. And I'm not here as a, a feminist or a gender fighter uh, to talk about it, uh, but it's a, I take this as a very auspicious opportunity. And... Um, because this had been an uh, international discourse among women um, uh, throughout the world, especially the Western uh, Buddhist women. But for us in Bhutan, we, have, we, ha we, we don't have this conversation because for us, it's important to have the education and the basic well-being, um, uh, basic necessities and well-being in place. And Her Majesty always advised us that, who are we to say what they need? But they need to have the quality education so they realize themselves and demand for it. Then only it will be sustainable. So that's what we had been doing so far uh, in Bhutan. But however, I feel it's timely that uh, to discuss a um, little bit about this and mention, because um, uh, in the... Um, uh, year 2020 uh, starts uh, where um, as the world moves forward, women's participation uh, and their roles are also moving closer and closer, even more vibrantly 
um, uh, uh, more vibrantly and closer to their male counterparts. The nuns, therefore, are no different, and they also have similar aspirations and struggles to serve and guide other nuns and proper um, and people around them. Thus, the Vikuni ordination will empower nuns to play bigger roles in society and spread dharma. It is also recognized that women's uh, uh, perspectives uh, and wisdom, patience, compassion, and loving care add more much needed uh, dimensions to lead and guide and follow human beings, fellow human beings. This is especially critical in an era which is torn apart by war, greed, power struggles, and other conflicts which destroy harmony and coexistence. Um, so, some make, uh, when I speak about this, it is, um, I'm trying to be very, uh, right, in a right mind mindfulness, I would like to say this, that uh, some might call it as a Buddhist feminist and activist or whatever, but in reality, we need um, a strong, empowered, and dedicated, and yet um, spiritually guided women leaders uh, and other uh, um, women to lead other women and men to show the way how to build a beautiful and a harmonious world with a with, um, world that the Buddha had shown, uh, shown to us. And I hope everyone uh, of you agrees with me. And uh, so for this, we would like our, um, uh, the, uh, we would like to, you know, at least share this, the blessings of Buddha uh, between the, uh, as the brotherhood and sisterhood among monks and nuns, and I hope you, um, the the, female, the male sanghas, will join hands and send a positive energy towards this, so that we can achieve um, the re revival of the bikuni ordination for the nuns. And I think it's very timely to talk about it now. Thank you so much.